This postcard makes me think of the person who sent it, the person receiving it, the person who took the photo, but most importantly, who the woman is in the image. I wonder whether she had any idea that her image was going to be put onto a postcard and sent across the world. I wonder whether she wanted her photo taken at all. I once saw a photo that I believe is also of her. This photo has kind of followed me around a bit and I'd been wondering when the photo and her would come up again. The first time I ever saw it was in National Geographic's race issue, which was titled, For decades our coverage was racist. To rise above our past, we must acknowledge it. This photo, in particular, was placed at the top, alongside a photo of a man. Originally, these photos were in their 1916 article, which said that we were savages who rank lowest in intelligence of all human beings. I doubt she ever knew they were going to say that about us. The second time I saw this photo, I was looking through the archives at the South Australian Museum. I randomly came across these exact photos and remembered that I had seen her previously. When I was showing this postcard, she looked incredibly familiar. And placing both of these images side by side, they look like the same person. If you look at her eyes, her nose, and even her mouth, it seems like she is the same person. In the photo that featured in National Geographic, it's a much clearer photo. Her hair isn't tied up, instead it flows down to her shoulders. And although the photo only shows her head and her shoulders, it's quite obvious that she isn't wearing any clothing on the top half of her body. She doesn't look happy. And even though I can never speak on her behalf, I can never truly know what she's thinking. It just doesn't look like she wants to be there. Like she doesn't want this photo of her to be taken. In contrast to the postcard image, she looks slightly more comfortable. She has her hair pulled back behind her ears. She's clothed and she seems to have a slight curve to her lips, suggesting she might be a bit more happy. Whether she is more happier in this photo, we may never know. Staging images has happened to so many Aboriginal people. Our ancestors were often made to cover up to appear more European in a sense, or to dress down to be, appear more traditionally Aboriginal. But ultimately, them telling us how to appear is still a representation of what they see, not necessarily who we are. Of the 300 plus Aboriginal nations across the continent, this photo does not tell us which one she may have came from. It doesn't tell us what her position is in the community, which family group she descends from, who she has to answer to. We don't know what knowledge she held. Was she great at cooking? Was she expert in medicines? Unfortunately, the only information we are given is Native Woman, South Australia. The sad fact is that there are so many other Aboriginal people and their photos held in archives like this. Used as decoration, mostly by white people, to send on to their friends, family and colleagues. Did Roland Dixon ever wonder who she was? Did he ever meet her? Or did he just think of her as native woman from South Australia?